Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the questions and asked in Scatterpy. Let us thank our subscriber who has shared us this question so that it can be of help to others. So before we you know, proceed, I think this is one company that is actively hiring you know, uh, across locations for Tableau development role. So if you're someone who is looking for Tableau, so this is uh, the company that you can apply for. If you are in my LinkedIn, I think I have shared uh, the link. Let me know if you want me to share it again. I can share it, share that too. So this is the first set of you know, questions that I have. I think there are, you know, I think three or four subscribers have shared me. I'll be uh, creating another set of that. So the first one is, I think this, the questions that I am seeing here is, I think click mid to above. There are no beginner questions. So the first question is a basic question. Ask about, uh, tell me about yourself and you know, KPIs used in project. So this here, the takeaway is this KPI is a very important thing. KPI means any metric or any functionality that you have derived in your project based on the client requirement that you can talk about in this. Apart from that, whenever he's asking you about, you know, tell me about yourself, you can tell, you know, your exposure that you had, the roles that you were in, what were your achievements, you know, kind of projects that you have worked with that are very important in this question. Okay, so this is, you know, many times a game changer question for, you know, many of you. You might not focus much on this question, but trust me, if you are not giving a good answer or an effective answer for this, tell me about yourself. You know, your entire interview might go wrong. Okay, so prepare well, you know, do let me know if you need any help from my side on this, I can help you or we can connect uh, for a one-on-one -on -one mock session where I can, you know, tell you how to you know, answer this effectively. So KPIs, again, like I said, uh, next is, you know, blending versus join versus relationships, the three core important concepts of Tableau, okay? So when do you go for a blending? When do you go for a joining? When do you go for a relationship? So this is something that every Tableau developer must know. When we are, we say, we always say when we are, you know, going for multiple tables or when we want to bring in data from multiple tables, we use join concept, right? But the modern method of joining is a relationship that gives us the flexibility, right? Next is if at all we are trying to bring in the data from different data sources, that is when we use the option of blending. So this is what we can do, but what is the extra that you are trying to add in this question? That is something that is very important. So what we can leverage here in joining, we might get data questions related to what kind of output you might expect. When I'm doing an inner join, what is the output? When I'm doing a left join, what is the output? When I'm doing a right join, what is the output? So that question or, you know, this question was asked many times in many interviews in 2023 and also in 2024, because this gives us an understanding how a candidate is doing in the interview or how candidate is well aware of the data that might come on based on different joins that we are applying. So this question is very important. Okay, order of filters, I think we have dis discussed this in previous uh, interview as well or previous video as well. So you can check that out. Next is window function. I think windows function is also being asked repeatedly this time. We talked about window function. So window function specifically allows us to play within the window range that we are specifying, right? So if at all, I don't want to use window function, what else I can use? So maybe for some scenarios to get, we can use LOD expressions to solve, but not, you know, I don't think there is an alternative, but if you know the answer for this, you can you know, comment down in the comment section so that others can answer this as well, okay? Scenario highlights those subcategories which are higher than category average. So this we can solve it using LOD expression. So all we need to do is first find out the average at a category level, right? So what will you do? Uh, we'll do fixed of category and then I'll take average of sales. Then whatever your sales of subcategory are there, which are greater than this, that will be in one and the other one is will be and just, just take that and drop it on color shelf, simple, okay? Top five subcategory sales for each category. I think this we have solved a number of times. Okay, last day of previous month, consider it today. Again, I think this we have solved a number of times uh, in our videos. Okay, so I think there is also a short that I have created for this. I can, you know, comment, uh, I can give you the description. You can watch it. I think uh, uh, what I felt is only this question and these questions are a little tricky. Apart from that, everything 
you know we will know if at all you are following our channel or my channel okay so all of this are covered next sql question order of execution uh, apart from this i think there were two uh, table structures along with the data were given and they were asked for output like i said here what kind of questions you will expect same thing happened here output for left to join and output for inner join like he gave uh, two tables maybe t1 and t2 and then some data for that one one zero or zero or null something maybe similar to that we also have data for t2 here okay and based on that he wanted uh, the output for different joins so this is something that you need to focus okay so write a query for showing manager name in front of employee again this was the another question so three sql questions were asked and seven so this is like i think many of us can answer okay if you are following from our video or learning from our video you should be able to answer all of this so i'll create another uh, set of video where you know the questions are little complicated okay so till then you know keep learning and keep watching my videos see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day